Hello everyone, this is Stone from Accelerate and in this video I'm going to show you how to level up your graph skills in Excel to taking your skills from going from these bland type of reports that you get to going to the extraordinary type of reports here that's going to make you guys look like Excel ninjas. Stay tuned. If you find me for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's just here in the corner. It takes you one second and you will be staying up to date of all the videos being posted from the pleb of Excel, this guy. Okay, next level graph skills. Let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start it off from scratch as always. I started off with a nice blank uh, spreadsheet so we can follow along and I'm just going to give this tab the name data so I'm gonna name the sheet one I'm gonna call that data so you double click on the sheet name put in data and here in a1 we can start off with our what we're we going to track let's say we're going for sales for 2022 and uh, let's start from January so in a2 we're gonna say Jan and Excel is very smart you can just click on a2 we can drag this little handle down so it goes up until December and we're going to be one we're going to put in an amount and I'm going to put in some random amounts here 110 120 150 uh, 150 let's say dipped a little bit 80 60 70 uh, I'm just putting in some random numbers for us for this tutorial and let's say we ended up Jan or December quite strong in a 180 range so this is currently our table I would like you to highlight a1 to b13 and hit Control and T this will create this into an Excel table my header um, has headers so you need to make sure this prompt is ticked on and you can say OK so this will give us this nice looking graph here or table here and we're gonna go straight into design and we're gonna put in a we can tick on the total row so that will give us an automatic total here at the bottom and what we're going to do is we're also just gonna format so you, you can, can highlight the column B and we want to have it uh, going into dollars so there's two ways you can do go about it you can say home and you can click the currency amount here and I want dollars or a quick uh, shortcut uh, via keyboard you can say uh, control and 4 control shift and 4 there we go so that changes it to rand and uh, I don't want it to be underlined so I'm just gonna take it away but in this case we want dollars rand being I'm from South Africa so everything is denominated in South African rand but I'm just gonna change the currency to a dollar there we go so that was quick and easy and now we just want to inter insert a proper line chart so you can highlight your data up until December and you're gonna go into insert and you're gonna click on the line with markers tab so that enters our normal looking line that we have we're gonna link this amount so you're gonna click on amount you need to make sure it highlights these four blue markers go straight to the formula bar and say equals and we're going to link it to a1 and you're going to say enter so this is going to dynamically link your title so let's say we're tracking sales let's say for 2021 then you will see it dynamically changes into the graph and but i'm just going to undo we tracking sales hypothetically for 2022 i know 2022 hasn't been that hasn't completed yet but this is just for my tutorial sake. All right, so this was the bland looking uh, line graph, quick and easy, but now we want to take it to that next level. So at the end of the day, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, insert a new tab. So I want you to insert a new tab and this sheet too, we're gonna name graph. And what we're also gonna do is you're gonna go back to data, click on your normal looking graph here you're going to say Control c to copy and go to graph you can click anywhere let's say b2 and you say Control v to paste so that will paste our specific uh, graph that we already created but now let's go into google and get a nice background for our 
graph that we're going to create. So I'm going to go straight into Google. So let's go into Google. I've already opened up Google here. So let's go for a, a nice background. So we want a HD dark blue cloud background. You can type it in Google just like that. And you're going to go into images and I'm going to take the very first image here. So you can click on the image and you can right click on this image. You can copy it. You can just say copy image here and you go back to your Excel spreadsheet and here in graph I'm just going to shift our graph a little bit over and in A1 you're going to say control V to paste that picture so now you've got this nice picture it's looking a little bit big so I'm going to zoom out you can hold, uh, hold control and scroll down with your mouse uh, to zoom out and we're going to just make it a little bit smaller like that we're going to take it back into A1 more or less the same as our graph here and I'm going to zoom back in with my mouse wheel. There we go, perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to send it to back so you can right click on the image, you're going to send to back and that will give us this nice overlay of our graph. I'm going to put it in here and we're going to space it out so it looks nice as well. What we're going to do is for this uh, specific tutorial we can take away this the title so you click on the title and hit delete. What also is necessary, you're going to double click on the graph, you're going to go into the uh, format here and in shape fill, we're going to say no fill. So that will take away that white background. What we're also going to take away is the X axis. So you click on the X axis here or the Y axis where the amounts are, we're going to delete that as well. And once more, we're going to delete these lines as well. So you click on one of the lines, it will highlight everything and you can hit delete so that deletes it so we're getting there uh, slowly but surely and we don't want this border you can see it's got a border as well you double click on the border and we're going to take away the border so you can go to border you say no line and it will take effectively take away the border and we can highlight the amounts as well so you can click on your graph once again and you're going to say add chart element you're going to go to data labels and we want it above every point so at every above every point we want to see the amount and you can click on the amount and you can format it as well you can click on format and the text fill here on the right hand side we're going to go for a nice white and we're going to bold it out as well so you can go to home hit that bold and that's nice bolded out if you don't want it to go into double decimals here, you go back to your data, you highlight B, highlight the column and you just take away the decimals here in the number formatting and it will update on your graph automatically as well. How cool is that? So let's change up the, the markers as well. So we want to click on one of the circles here and we want to fill it so on the right hand side you go to the marker option you're going to go to fill and we're going to go for a solid fill and it's solid fill white that's perfect and we're also going to go to marker options so we already have a circle but we want to increase the size let's go for a nice 10 here hit enter and that will increase the bubble size as well we can take away the line so you click on the line as well and if you go to line here we say no line so that will if you click on the line here no line okay so this is, takes it to individual side I just want to click on there we go you want to highlight all the bubbles and you go go to line no line so that gives us that no line look but it's still just hanging in the air in the essence so you can double click on your graph again so it gives you this add the chart element we're going to go to lines here and we want drop lines so you click on drop lines and that will give this nice lollipop bar graph effect and last step is we want to highlight the the months as well so you're going to click on months format text fill into a nice white and we're going to go to home and bold it out as well so this gives us that nice look and feel almost there home stretch you're going to click on your bar uh, or your graph 
you're gonna drag it down just a little bit just a little bit just make some space here to see the background and now you're going to go to insert and we're gonna go insert a text box so text box here on the right hand side you're just gonna click it anywhere and we're gonna link that text box so as the, it flickers here you go to your formula bar you're gonna say equals you're gonna click on your data tab so it shows data and the name is in A1 so you can just type in A1 hit enter and this will dynamically pull out our uh, title there you're gonna give it a white text here so in full white you can give it a bold and you can increase the size to your liking let's go for sales for 21 you're gonna to go to uh, click on this one control C to copy that you're gonna click away control V to paste another instance of it and what we're going to do is we're going to change the the uh, reference from A1 to the total here that's in B14 so we're going to change A1 to B14 we're going to hit enter and that's give it the white text we're going to give it the bold and that will dynamically you can increase the size as well and that will pull out the uh, the total dynamically so if anything changes in the data so let's say in may we went to 140 so notice may will jump to 140 june let's say we jump to 130 and in july we went to 150 so that will change our graph effectively in this range here but very nice it is linked to this one as well it updated the graph it's looking quite nice and it's updating the amount in total as well and let's say it was not sales but let's say um, expenses so we can change sales to expenses the it is dynamically linked to that and it will show expenses if it cuts out you can just increase your size of the text box to make some space as well i think we covered this next level coverage just for that little extra sleek uh, look and feel you can go to view so view here in the top ribbon you can take away grid lines that will take away the grid lines take away the headings and take away the formula bar and click on this little uh, collapse the ribbon uh, uh, button and this will give us this nice sleek look and feel for our graph here if you, if you want to go to back you can go to view hit this little pin button this will pin the ribbon you can bring back the grid lines you can bring back the headings and the formula bar as well if you don't like that view guys i really hope you like this video this was awesome to make and uh, you can give us that little thumbs up if you liked it you can hit this little subscribe button here and i'm gonna see you for sure for our next video cheers guys